normal speed. This is Joel with the Eagles Mirror Air Museum. Uh, we're gonna make you a, a time-lapse vis video or we're gonna take the cylinders heads off of our 1914 Kemp aircraft engine we have. We ran it the other day uh, for about two minutes and got it to start running well. Started tuning in this very unique carburetor it has. Uh, and then as it was running, we noticed some debris flying and we actually blew out the number two head gasket. We found that the head bolts are not very tight and they appear to be, the gaskets appear to be made of paper. So we're gonna pull off the heads and get some nice copper gaskets made and we'll get a, a look at this unique valve arrangement it has while we're in there. So hope you enjoy. So now we're starting to get our first view of this cool valve arrangement now that the uh, intake manifold's out of the way. And you can see the nature of our problem here with the gasket, which is very brittle and papery. So essentially this has the intake valve as a suction valve. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but it's located inside of the exhaust valve. So you got a, a traditional rocker arm to drive the exhaust valve but then you have a poppet valve operated off of just engine vacuum to drive the intake. So as this was a early air-cooled engine, the placard actually says it was the first air-cooled uh, aircraft engine at the time. Metallurgy was not that great and having cool, fresh, uh, the cool fuel and air running through the intake center of the exhaust valve probably helped the exhaust valve to stop from overheating. And then there is no exhaust manifold. It is literally just an open space where the exhaust flows around the outside. So we'll get it off so you can have a better look at um, what it looks like. Before we pull the heads off, I wanted to show how the suction valve works here. So now that we have the push rods out of the way, you can see exhaust valve on the outside, intake valve in the center. And uh, when you pull it through, it makes a really cool noise. You can actually see and hear the different intake valves vibrating as the air rushes past. So. It's got a lot of compression, so it's not that easy, but we'll get a better look at it here in a second. sleeve setup. Here's the exhaust valve opening. 
Extremely cool. The exhaust and the piston falls. Your intake looks a lot like your just conventional valve. And then again, when the rocker moves, exhaust. So four strokes don't actually need cam actuation of the uh, intake valve. It happens naturally. Um, now, like when you start getting the more high performance stuff, uh, you need to start moving the intake valve in a more controlled manner, but they'll run with just uh, a vacuum and that's like a fairly light spring because when compression comes up, it blows the valve shut and holds it shut. So this is a good cylinder. Now we're gonna pull off the one that's got the uh, bad head gasket. All right, so here is the missing gasket. I will say, I don't know that I was right about saying it was a paper gasket, but it appears maybe that it's like a, almost like a powdered metal, but I think we can come up with something a little better. To be fair, that gasket might be 100 years old, or actually 110 years old or so. So we probably shouldn't be too upset at it. So you probably see the pistons come up. Look how, uh, you got that flashlight going. We'll get the other ones off. But... You can see how much compression room is in these cylinders when the piston's at top dead center. So, I mean, and you can see the lead build up, so it's been run on leaded fuel. Oh, that's very cool. Actually got some porting down in the cylinder too. I don't know if you guys can see that. So we'll have to figure out exactly why it's ported. Might have to do with crankcase ventilation, but I'd try to find a spec on this, but I'd be surprised if this thing had more than five to one compression. It's just got so much volume above the piston here. So we'll get our last two heads off. All right, so that is it. We got this heads off of this and now we can make some new gaskets and you guys can come up and visit us this summer and see this thing run in person. So very cool machine. And uh, we'll be doing some more videos as we get it back together and get it back running. Thank you for joining us.